That was some video footage from last week um, where we removed a decaying aspen poplar. My name is Reg Coates and the lowering device featured in the video is this RC2000 by Stein. The 2000 figure relates to its 2000 kilogram working load limit. Same as this smaller, yet almost identical RC1000, which carries a 1000 kilogram working load limit. The barrel diameter of the 1000 device is 61 millimeters, and the 2000 is 76. Both barrels have a wall thickness of 5 millimeters, and each has a vertical shaft with anchor points at either end. The weight of the 1000 device is 3.6 kilograms and the 2000 is 6.2. Those figures might sound quite heavy compared to other similar style devices on the market but in designing both tools this was a conscious effort, not only to achieve maximum strength and durability, but also to reduce the heat buildup when the devices are being used. Positioning the devices is straightforward enough. Here you have the bottom load bearing anchors and the top positioning anchors. On the 1000 device, we've used this 16mm whoopee sling and on the 2000 device, we've used this double estalon dead eye sling which is 19mm in diameter and is actually 8 meters in length. So this sling was actually purposely built by Yale Cordage upon our request and um, at 8 meters long it'll go around big trees as well as small ones. The positioning slings which are anchored to the top of the devices are not really load bearing. They only carry the weight of the device and hold it in place. Therefore we recommend these lightweight Yale X slings which are 10 millimeters in diameter and 6 meters in length. The maximum rope diameter for the 1000 device is 14 millimeters and the 2000 device is 16 millimeters. Now that's not a reflection on any strength limitation on the part of the devices, but it's more about maintaining the appropriate bend ratio for these particular lines. Routing the lowering line is easy enough. 
simply push the line into the entry fair leads twist the device to the side take a wrap around the rear of the bollard apply some tension and then continue with further wraps in the same direction as the initial one and then finish by resting the line on either of the exit fair leads. Double tying the device is really just a luxury. I can manage without the top attachment point easy enough. Well, having it there just makes life easier. Certainly, for routing the line, tensioning, and disengaging it thereafter. Another good reason to double tie the device is if slack was suddenly to occur in the rigging line. This often happens when you are cutting pieces from above the rigging block high in the tree and in which case I'd be able to remove the slack as it happened and do it from a safe distance however without the top attachment point the device would just flop down and it would be near impossible to do anything. You just have to remember to push the slings apart once in a while just to keep the system nice and tight. If you're using carabiners to attach the device to the sling when routing the line always route it down the side of the spine and not against the gate. At this point the user can stand anywhere within a hundred and eighty degree radius. For tensioning and lifting both devices are compatible with fiddle blocks such as this one by ISC Or alternatively, you can use this very slick and purpose-built pre-tension pulley by Stein. This produces a very simple self-tending 3 to 1 system. A quick word of caution on this pre-tension pulley. Always limit its use to one person loading. Never impact load the line by tugging it. And never substitute the friction hitch for any kind of mechanical rope grab or clamp because as well as being bad for the rope the clamp puts excessive force on the pin while the prusik or friction hitch loads it more evenly and so that concludes this presentation so from Stein Products and myself thank you for watching